Good morning. Welcome to the Gym of All Trades channel. Glad you are here. My name is Jim. I'm a crypto trader and a forex trader. And uh, I specialize in Elliott Wave trading. Um, I'm here to help you understand the market from an Elliott Wave perspective. That's what I'll be able to at least uh, provide for you. Other channels might provide for other things, but I'm going to give you daily Elliott Wave calls just so you can understand uh, what uh, what might be lying ahead in the near term as well as in the far term from Elliott Waves. All right, um, let's just jump into the chart this morning. Um, so uh, we're going to look at BTC and LTC. And uh, I think, uh, guys, I just want you to be careful here. We looks like we uh, could be really going down um, soon. So I want you to uh, be careful and uh, watch, uh, watch this market carefully. So let me tell you where I think we are in our large uh, count. We've got two counts so far. Um, but uh, it's, it's yet to uh, reveal itself uh, perfectly. So we've got, let me just explain you know, what I explained yesterday uh, as far as our counts. We could be dealing with a triangle right here. I don't know if you can, you can see that triangle right there. Um, in uh, Bitcoin, um, remember that the difference in, in triangle, uh, well, let me go back. Uh, the, the triangles are made up of threes, okay? So every wave is going to have uh, threes, okay? And so we would expect this to do that right there uh, to make... Um, uh, to make a third wave. So so if this is a triangle, we need to come down here, um, come down this area, and then go, we need a three wave. Okay, so it's got to be a three wave of some kind. Uh, we could be getting that now. We have five, uh, we do have uh, five completed waves to the upside. Uh, there is a way to count that, that where we have five completed waves to the upside. So if that's the case, if we have five completed waves, we'd be looking for three completed waves to the downside. Um, so you know, an ABC to the downside of some kind. That's about 50% of this of this move. Um, so be watching for that. Okay, um, and then a possible move to this trend line up here. Uh, then following that, we would get a move to the downside again, maybe to the trend line, maybe not so far, and we'd be looking for a skyrocket from there. And that's what a triangle would be in the grand scheme of things. We'd be looking at. Uh, excuse me. In the, excuse me, uh, sorry about that. Uh, in the grand scheme of things, we would be looking at a four wave here. This would be a uh, a, four, a fourth wave. So this would be one, two, three, four, and then we'd be coming up for five. Now, how that, that five could be extended wave, it could be a normal wave, uh, we would, wouldn't know. Now, is that likely in my opinion? My opinion says no, I don't think that's the likely count. Uh, I do not think that's a likely count, but I want you to be aware of it because Jim Pierce doesn't always know everything, and uh, I don't, my intuition isn't always correct. But uh, to me, when I look at this, this looks like a one, two, three, four, five. We have five completed waves. We're getting the ABC down to the downside. We're coming to about 50% of, of that move. So that's the way I think about that, and that's what I'm looking for. So uh, if that's the case, what would I be uh, looking for then? Well, let's let's go in a little... Uh, let's go in a little uh, closer. That's too close here. Let's go back to the four hour. There we go. All right. What else do we have? Well, I am looking at this correction uh, as the three wave WXY uh, overall. Okay. Um, WXY again is a, a double zigzag. I, I explained it yesterday. You might check out yesterday's video. There's W, there's X, there's the Y wave. Looking for the $7,500 target. Uh, that's the target I've been watching and looking for. Now let's take a peek at uh, what that's made up of. Uh, WXY is going to have a double correction. You're basically going to have, yeah, sorry. Basically, we're going to have uh, an A, B, C, A, B, C, and then we're going to have A, B, C. Now, the difficulty here with this wave, and this wave has been so, so hard up to this point, is that um, this, this right here is looking like it potentially could be an expanded flat. Okay, an expanded flat is, a, is an ABC where the B wave comes below the A wave, uh, the origin of the A wave. That's, that's not common. Uh, normally you have a zigzag like this. B wave doesn't come below the A wave. It only retraces so much of it. But an expanded flat, the B wave retraces 100% um, plus some. Um, a regular flat is where the B wave just comes down to the or, uh, at least 90% 
of the A wave uh, like that. Okay, so uh, a flat correction, uh, there are three types of flat corrections and this could be an expanded flat B wave. So that would finish out our, our um, get a different color here. This would finish out our A, B as an expanded flat and then C wave. We, we'd be looking for five waves to the downside. That's what we're looking for. That's where that's the count that I'm I'm thinking we're in. Uh, there's two possibilities uh, here. We could be finished A B. I mean, excuse me, not A B. Excuse me. Uh, one, two, three, four, five could be done. I don't think so though. I think we're putting in the fourth wave here. One, two, three, four. Gonna have a a wave up here to the upside, and then we're gonna have five waves down to the downside. Okay. Um, that's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm thinking is going to happen. Shall we measure uh, this uh, this last wave and see what kind of count we can get out of it? Okay. Let's just measure this wave and see what kind of count we can get out of it here. Um, there we go. So when we measure this wave... You can see how we came to the 2618 right here. Okay. So um, there is a there is a case to be made that this is one, two, this is three right here, four, and the fifth wave is completed. And so we have our uh, we have our expanded flat complete. There's a case to be made for that. Um, there is also a case to be made that we have one more wave up to the upside. Let me show you that case. One, two. Now there's two. Now the third wave, let's count five subwaves. We would have one, two. This would not be the next wave. That's a subwave of the next wave. We got one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So this would be the third wave of the third wave, one, two, three, four, five. So all of that is the third wave. The fourth wave is being made and the fifth wave. Is there a way we can tell? Is there a way we can trade this? Yes, yes there is. Um, trading it is a little risky, but is there a way to tell? Yeah, here's what we do. I want to see... Uh, one, the the four wave if that if this is a four wave being created right now generally retraces um, thirty eight percent to fifty percent of uh, of the third wave and so if I put the retracement tool on here you'll notice you'll notice that uh, thirty eight point two percent or point three eight two retracement comes to ten thousand two hundred seventy nine dollars right here at the bottom of the structure okay. So that's, that's uh, something there. Also, let's see what the fib extensions of this particular uh, wave looks like. Uh, when I put the fibs here, you'll notice this wave came to the 1276. I'm going to bring my uh, fibs down to the bottom of here. Okay. Now we've got, uh, looks like we've got a one-to-one -one target right here correlating with 10,290. Uh, uh, to the, uh, so it's correlating with that with that fib level. So chances are we've got a very good target area right here, right here, for the bottom of this wave. If we come down to this wave and we get we get a bounce there, um, it, there's, a, there's a potential we go on up and, and finish the fifth wave. Now keep in mind the market makers are aware of that. They're aware of Elliott wave, uh, so you got to understand that. Um, now, and I don't mean to make you so skeptical, but uh, listen, they they have so many tricks up their sleeves to uh, to take your money, um, and so I just want you to know that. So they're aware of that level. They're aware of this price structure right here. Okay, and so oftentimes you can get fake moves there. So if you trade that to the upside, because there's a good potential it goes up to about eleven thousand. Uh, dollars. That's an $800 move. That's not a bad little trade. 11100 in that ballpark. Uh, there's a good chance that, that, I mean, that's a nice little trade to finish out. 
Now, if uh, if it comes down there and you get a bit of a bounce, then that's a uh, could be a, a potential area um, to to take a trade. But keep in mind there may be it may be a fake bounce, so watch out for that. Now, uh, what would that look like? Basically, what you would see is that price would come down. Uh, it would bounce up and then it would come back down and then continue on. So if you get price that bounces up and then it comes back to your, uh, you know, as long as you get a good entry there uh, and it comes back to your entry, just just cut that trade. It's not worth it's not worth the risk. Okay, cut that trade. Um, all right. So uh, <coughs> if this five waves is finished, it, okay. Number one, if this is a WXY, okay, and this is an expanded flat. If I'm correct. I may not be correct. Okay, this is the way I'm seeing it. This is the potentials that I see here. Okay, that's all I'm giving you. Um, so if I'm right that this is an expanded flat right here, and if I'm right it's completed, we're looking for five waves to the downside. Now be careful here because you're going to get a one wave, and then there's going to be a two wave, and it's going to look like a reversal. Okay. So that two wave will look like a reversal, but then the three wave will just dump four and five. And we'll get down, and this is how we're going to get down to about $7,500 to $8,000 in that ballpark. So understand that. Now, if we have another wave up, what's that going to look like? We're going to come down to our target line here. Price will make its way down here. Chances are it'll come down quickly. It'll bounce. Uh, it'll bounce. It's going to go up in five waves. One, two, three, four, five. That's what we're expecting. Now, that's not drawn to scale. So chances are it's going to come up near that target line. Once it does that, then the expanded flat would be complete. Uh, we would expect then a push to the downside. beginning with five waves okay I mean so that's what we're looking for all right so that's what we're looking for be careful I'll just be careful out there those are the potentials that I'm seeing I'm not really seeing the potential for anything else let me just take one last look just to make sure I'm not missing anything I personally don't see uh, you know anything else that that it could be somebody somebody has said um, you know the correction was over right here that that this is in uh, and A, B, C, and then we're done, and this is a one wave followed by a two wave, and now we're getting the, the, the third wave. Is that possible? Um, not in my world. It's not possible, and, and here's why. The only way it would be possible is, number one, for this wave, sorry, for this wave right here, it has to be part of this structure right here. In other words, this wave has to be connected to this. This whole thing right here, this structure. Um, that's the only way. Then, then you would have a five-wave impulse. Okay. Uh, then you've got a really complex correction to the downside for a two-wave. And now this is the beginning of the one wave of the third. One, two, three, four, five. I don't think that's the case. The reason I don't think that's the case is because I, I don't know what I would have if this were part of that. Instead, this looks like a five-wave structure there. This looks like a corrective structure. This looks like five waves. That's a five, three, five. Okay? We don't have one, two, three, four, five as an impulse wave. We've got three waves, and this measures correctively. right here okay it measures uh, it doesn't come up to the 1618 it measures to uh, uh, sorry it measures it, it comes barely to it but we don't get a we don't get a you know a fourth wave and then a fifth wave so that to me is is, is not possible I think somebody uh, was sharing that with me the other day and uh, that's just not likely that is I mean that's not even no I mean I don't see it it's not there in my opinion so uh, I'm still digging into more downside here, but it's just coming in a tricky way. So I've given you the things to look out for. 
All right, there you go. Uh, if you want to continue watching, I'm going to go over through Litecoin as well. Uh, if you've uh, watched all the way to that point, hey, let me know. Uh, what, what, what's going to be our fun, uh, our fun uh, comment uh, today? That's uh, random, random comment for the day. Um, fill in this blank. When Jim yawns. <laughs> dot dot dot. <laughs> All right, I'm asking for trouble there. <laughs> I did not think of that beforehand, and that that's going to be dangerous. So, there you go. <laughs> All right, let's look at Litecoin if you're interested. All right, um, so the hard part about Litecoin here <coughs> is that this wave right here is it part of this, or is it part of this? I'm inclined to believe that this is all part of this together so this is a new wave right there even though this comes down technically a little bit lower than that we have a truncated fifth wave is what I'm seeing if that's the case what do we have well we have a bunch of shenanigans is what we've got we've got um, a one two or an a b okay this is this might be huh it's, it is probably definitely <laughs> we got a one two got a three four five is that a one two three four five i don't know because this second wave isn't delineated really well that third wave if i put the fibs on that it doesn't measure very well Yeah, I mean, this is the third wave up here. So my problem with this wave is uh, it, it doesn't measure very well, but it, it seems to be, it looks corrective, but it measures impulsive, if that makes any sense to you. That's my difficulty here. So um, the way this chop is right here, and the way it just kind of stair steps its way up, that's non-normal. It's a very pumpish. It's very. It's been pumped. It's been pumped up to that level. Okay. Um, but it could be a one, two, three. Okay. So let let's uh, let's consider it. it. Could be one, two, three. Could be one, two. All that's three. We're getting the four wave five. Uh, if that if that's the case, then then this uh, this is our line of death here. Uh, this four wave can't come past uh, sixty five seventy five. Can't do it. Okay. All right. Um, now, if we consider this as our first wave here. Is there another way to consider what this wave could be? Maybe. A, B, C. Okay. A, B, C. One, two, three, four, five, or... Or, oh, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. This could be a WXY. A, B, C. A, B, C. Okay. And then you've got A, B, C. C wave has five waves. One, two, three, four, five. That's a potential way to count that correctively. It looks corrective to me. Okay. So this this would be a W, X, Y. It, it barely wicked through the area of the one wave. So if that's the count, if it's the count, if that's proper, and it could be, it correlates with the down move with Bitcoin. It would be one, two, three three, four. We got a down move to Bitcoin. Coming down to about $56 in that ballpark. That's what I'm looking at, guys. That's what I'm looking at for uh, Litecoin, potentially. If you get another up, uh, if you get a other, if we get another move to the upside, um, as far as a five wave structure, um, we're going to have to reconsider that count. We're also going to have to reconsider Bitcoin, most likely, because if they're going to correlate in some way, then we're going to have to look at it. One, 
two, three, four, five. I don't. Th I just don't think that's the case. I think that this is just uh, a really, really tricky corrective wave. But this looks very corrective. All right, that's what I've got for you today. I hope you guys uh, have a fantastic day. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, share the videos. Your uh, your your comments really help. Uh, if Jim yawns, uh, when Jim yawns, dot dot dot, you fill in the blank. Uh, if you made it this far in the video, all right. Uh, thanks so much. You guys have a great day. Bye bye.